everybody, this is Nick with Basic Gear Review, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Ernie Ball Stingray 40th Anniversary Old Smoothie. The Old Smoothie is definitely a special instrument. This Music Man Stingray is based on a Leo Fender design that was made for Sterling Ball, Ernie Ball's son, before Ernie Ball purchased the company. It's got a 34 inch scale length, a 1 and 5 eighths nut width, it's got a maple fretboard, a maple neck, an alder body, and the EQ system is going to be a little bit different than what's being currently designed. Back here is where we're going to see some of the pretty cool distinct to this era stuff. We have a two band EQ. So there's volume, there's bass, and treble, whereas now they're using volume, bass, mid, and treble. We have a very distinct pickup to this model specifically as well. It's a 10 pole piece humbucker pickup, and the strings are actually rest in between the poles as opposed to now where they rest right on top. So this is going to have a very, very different sound than what's being produced right now. Back here on the bridge and saddle system, we've got a little bit, a little bit going on here too. This one actually has built-in mutes. I can spin this screw down here, and I can kind of fix where the mutes are sitting, so I can get that kind of natural palm mute effect built right on deck. The old smoothie has 21 low profile frets, it's got a 7.5 inch radius, and on the back where your hand's going to rest is a really nice gentle vintage carving right here where the, uh, right where the headstock is. And if you look closely, you get the California bear, always good to see. And as always, 6 bolt right there onto the body.
back here on the instrument. Here's our nine volt cavity. And with this one, you get a string through body design. So you can slip those strings right through, putting those vibrations directly into the alder body. Today we're gonna to be playing into a Fender Basement 500 head with a 410 cabinet and a single 15 inch cabinet with a Shure Beta 52 microphone pointed at the 410. We'll also be running a pre-EQ DI out of the back of the Fender Basement 500 head. If you like this video and you want to see more, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Big thanks to all of our Patreon supporters, and if you want to join the community, please check us out on Patreon. Once again, this is Nick with Basic Gear Review, and we'll see you all next time.